Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Rundown. We're to go with the MLB game scheduled for Monday, September 23rd, 2024. And if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my daily rundown best bet in the MLB, or my Monday Night Football play as well, you can find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. There's also a link in the description. Alrighty, we only got four games on the board for Major League Baseball on Monday. Let's get into those games. First up, the Chicago Cubs taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Justin Steele and Aaron Nola are your starters. You know, Nola was struggling quite a bit, but he had a nice bounce back outing in his last start in a tough matchup against the Brewers on the road. He went seven innings of three-hit baseball, only gave up one run, had nine strikeouts. Now, his team didn't back him up offensively in that one. But they do face a lefty in this game in Justin Steele. And Steele's put together a fine season, but we also saw David Peterson, who's also pitching well this year, get crushed against these Phillies. It just goes to show you the Phillies, the whole season, you know, when you look at the entire season's numbers, number one in baseball in team OPS against lefties. They've been hitting lefties well in the last month as well, so you know some good numbers recently. I think they'll be able to get the steal for a few runs. I think Nola continues to pitch well. I think the Phillies win this game and potentially cover the run line as well. Next up, the Boston Red Sox taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Tanner Houck and Chris Bassett are your starters. You know, Chris Bassett, when you look at his last start against the Rangers, it was really an unfortunate outing for him because he went three and two thirds and gave up seven runs, but only one of those runs was earned. Six unearned runs because his defense really did not do him any favors. And actually, one of the defensive errors were actually, was won by him. So he, he definitely played a role in that. He threw a ball over Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s head at first base, but... Still, it was really an unlucky performance. I still think he's a solid option. I mean, when you look at his last few starts, he was pitching well, and the Blue Jays have been solid against right-handed pitching in the month of September. You know, Tanner Houck has pitched a little bit better recently, but we know that the Red Sox have lost a lot of his games in the last couple of months. Uh, in the month of August, they only won one of his six starts, and so far September, one and one. But I like the Blue Jays in this game on the money line at Rogers Center. Next up, we see the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. Bryce Miller and Hunter Brown are your starters. I like the Mariners in this game at a great price. I just think that this is you know a value play. When you look at Hunter Brown, we know he's had a great couple of months. I mean, after we mentioned him you know, many times, after his first month where he struggled, he's been one of the best pitchers in baseball. But his last couple of outings, we did see him give up you know a couple of home runs, seven earned, uh, seven earned runs combined in 11 innings of work, 14 base hits to go with it. He only had three strikeouts in that last game against San Diego in six innings. So for me, when you look at Bryce Miller, I think he's honestly a little bit more dominant in his last couple of starts compared to Brown. And the Mariners have really improved their game against right-handed pitching. In the month of September, they're number two in baseball in Team OPS against righties. They're right up there in isolated power, top five as well. The same signature high strikeout rate that the Mariners have been known for this year at 25%, but they got a 9.7% walk rate, and they're, you know, they're definitely improving their game. I think they can get to Brown for a few runs. I think Bryce Miller pitches pretty well. And the Mariners, you know, while the Astros have a great bullpen, I think Seattle can compete there as well. I'm going to go with the Mariners. This is a you know huge game for them as they're still very much alive in the wild card race. Give me Seattle. And the final game we're going to talk about for the Monday card in Major League Baseball, it's the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. We're going to see Hayden Birdsong and Eduardo Rodriguez as your starters. Now, I've backed Hayden Birdsong quite a few times recently, and I've faded Eduardo Rodriguez almost every start he's had this year. But I'm going to change course in this game because I saw Rodriguez pitch really his best start of the season by far in his last game at Coors Field, nonetheless, against the Rockies. Six and a third innings of two-run ball with 11 strikeouts. He wasn't giving up a lot of sharp contact, no home runs given up, only one walk, and he was able to miss some bats. It's exactly what you're looking for from Rodriguez going forward. And if he can continue to pitch like that, Diamondbacks' chances in the playoffs go way up, in my opinion. But I also just think it's a great matchup for him. While I may not be completely, you know, uh, have a lot of faith in his game right now, the Giants have been really bad against left-handed pitching in the last month. They're, you know, you could argue the worst lineup in baseball in the month of September against lefties. Uh, they have a super high strikeout rate, above 30%, you know, 30.7%. Second worst OPS at 458. Isolated power numbers are pretty poor as well. Yeah, the BABIP is very low, so maybe some positive regression going forward, but I don't think so against Rodriguez. And, you know, Birdsong faced the Dimebacks not too long ago. He gave up two earned runs in three innings and five walks to go with it. So it wasn't a good outing there. And I just think that Rodriguez is the better option right now. Dimebacks are the better lineup and the better bullpen. Even though Sam Fran had a nice competitive weekend in KC, 
I don't like their chances in this one. Give me the Diamondbacks pick. And that's it. Those are the games for Monday in baseball. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and put those baseball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Ronelli. Good luck.